So far, we've been dealing with polynomial functions like this one. Let's review a few characteristics of polynomials. Each of these are called terms. All the terms have coefficients, which are the numbers multiplying each power of x. If no number is explicitly written, like on the x to the power 4 term, the coefficient is implied to be 1. Each term also has a variable, even the constant term. Its variable is just raised to the power of 0, and anything raised to the power of 0 is 1, so we don't bother to write it explicitly. The variable of the polynomial can be x or something else, like k in this example. A polynomial can also have multiple variables, like x and y in this example. The exponent on each variable determines the degree of the corresponding term. For example, this term is degree 2. Keep in mind there is an implied exponent of 1 on the x in the x term, making it degree 1, and an implied x to the 0 being multiplied by the constant term, making it degree 0. The highest degree term, the x to the power 4 term in this case, is called the leading term, and its coefficient, the implied 1, is called the leading coefficient. The degree of the leading term determines the degree of the polynomial. Since the leading term here is of degree 4, this polynomial is of degree 4. Lower degree polynomials have special names based on their degree. For example, this degree 4 polynomial is called quartic. A polynomial of degree 3, like this one, is called cubic. A polynomial of degree 2, like this one, is called quadratic. A polynomial of degree 1, like this one, is called linear. And finally, a polynomial of degree 0, like this one, is called constant. All of these polynomials are written in standard form, meaning they are written with their terms ordered from highest to lowest degree. An example of a polynomial written in non-standard form could look like this. Keep in mind that the negative 2x cubed term is still the leading term even though it's not written first, because it's the highest degree term. We've just seen many examples of polynomials. But how do we know that they're polynomials? In other words, what are the criteria for a function to be a polynomial? It turns out that there are only two criteria. The first is that the exponents on the variables must be whole numbers, meaning no negatives or fractions. Look at this example. Is this a polynomial? It may look like one, but it is not. Since 2 divided by x is the same as 2 times x to the minus 1, it's not a polynomial. So we can conclude that a polynomial cannot have division by a variable. Now look at this example. Is this a polynomial? Again, it may look like one, but the answer is no. Since taking the square root of a variable is the same as raising it to the power of 1 half, this is not a polynomial. So we can conclude that a polynomial can't have a radical sign over a variable. The second criterion is that the coefficients and constant term must be real numbers. This just means that we can't have imaginary numbers in our polynomials, so functions like this that contain the square root of a negative are not allowed. Therefore, this is not a polynomial. Hopefully, this has been a helpful refresher on some of the vocabulary and rules associated with polynomials.